Good morning, everybody. So today I thought I would try the footprint insoles. They're the five millimeter uh, all flat insoles. They're going in my black 909s in the stock V4 liner. I think I've mentioned this before. I love the footbeds that come with the stock V4 liner, but I thought I'd try the footprints to see if maybe it can help alleviate some shock from my knees and feet and ankles because they're getting old. All right, let's give it a go. All right, so just finished up my session. I was trying the footprint insoles. <laughs> After like an hour and 45 minutes, the, the bottom of my feet uh, were kinda, kinda sore. But I ended up switching back over to the stock footbed in the Them V4 liner, and the bottom of my foot kinda felt better after that. So I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's something maybe I just need to get used to, and that it's actually helping and taking some of the shock off of my legs and knees. It kind of hurt my feet a little bit on the bottom. And when I put back in the stock footbeds, that went away. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Let me know in the comments what you think. These are the five mil and they're flat. And it wasn't like I was having soreness in my arch or anything like that. Um, they just, they feel hard, that's what it is. They feel really hard. And I get that that's the way they're supposed to feel. Again, I could be doing something totally wrong. I thought about trying the three mil and then maybe pairing it with another softer three mil footbed so you kind of have the best of both worlds. I'm not sure I'll be able to fit all that in the liner and still have it be comfortable, but maybe it's worth a shot. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments about the footprint insoles. I just, I felt like they were wicked hard. I don't, I don't know. Quality, amazing. Definitely heavier than a normal footbed, but made really well. All right, back at the skate park again. What I'm gonna try is using a three mil footprint insole underneath the liner in the shell. And then in the liner, I found these Run 619 insoles on Amazon. They're also roughly three mil. So together, it was somewhere around six and a half. I'm kind of hoping that I'll have just enough room for my feet in there and I'll kind of get the best of both worlds. A little bit of shock absorption <laughs> and a little more cushion. Also, I have a new Fruit Tech cuff bolt. It's got the blue and it's a slightly longer thread on the screw. Um, I know a lot of you mentioned that I'd be having a lot of trouble getting my cuff bolts off because I use the permanent Loctite, but since this is a Torx screw and the cuff receiver on the 909 is so solid, I was able to hand turn it off with uh, like a normal screwdriver that you could put the bit in for the Fruit Tech. Anyways, I'm trying the blue Loctite just to see if it'll hold today. I was pretty excited how well the permanent red Loctite held my cuff bolts in, but also that I was able to get them out without that much of a struggle. If that wasn't Fruitech hardware and it wasn't a torque bit, 
I don't think I would have been able to get them out, pretty sure. But since it's the Fruit Tech hardware and it has that torque bit, I was able to just turn them right out. Look at how sick those are. That nice blue Fruit Tech cuff bolt. So I'm gonna slip these in and just go around and do some grinds and some things. <laughs> Alrighty. So on the last session, the Run 619s ran really nice with the footprint 3 mils, flat, king foam. My feet felt really good after the session, and I was able to have some extra shock absorption for my knees. Absorption? Is that a word? Anyways, it's hard to tell whether or not my knees felt better, but I feel like that's something you have to experience in the long run. I think I'm gonna try to sneak a little more cushion in there. The Run 619 is three mil, this is three mil. Came out to somewhere around six mil of footbed. I think I'm gonna try the Intuition footbed. This is the one that comes with the Ritter. It's roughly four mil. So that plus this is around seven-ish mil of footbed. I think I can sneak in that extra millimeter inside the liner. So I'm gonna give that a shot. You can actually get the Intuition footbeds not the ones that say Ritter, but the regular Intuition 4 mil footbeds at oakcityskateshop.com, or you can get them directly from Intuition. Some people ask why I plug Oak City Skate Shop so often in my videos. Um, if I did plug them, these are great sunglasses. If I did plug them as often as people say I do, well, it's because Oak City Skate Shop has the best customer service on the planet. They do not sponsor me to say this. I am saying it strictly because they are that incredible. I love Oak City Skate Shop. He is not paying me to say this. And Oak City Skate Shop has not once made an error on any of my orders. Can't say the same for Amazon. Anywho, I'm already sweating and cut. Intuition 4mm and the Footprint 3mm together 
in the 909 was a little bit too much, I feel like. Pretty comfortable, but feel like it was maybe a little bit too much inside the skate there. As far as the 909, I think I'll stick with the 3 mil Run 619 and the 3 mil Footprint. Today, I wanna to try one more setup. That is the 5 mil Footprint footbed inside of my Adapt Brutality. I have a feeling my feet are gonna be pretty achy afterwards on the bottom. I definitely wanna give it a shot and see how I like it. So yeah, five mil footprint footbed inside of the Adapt Brutale instead of the stock footbed. So what are my final thoughts? Well, in short, the stock footbeds on both my Adapt Brutale and my 909 are much more comfortable. I feel like I could definitely skate longer without my feet getting sore on the bottom. However, I have noticed that the footprint insoles, both 3 mil and 5 mil, do take shock off of your knees and your legs. It's pretty incredible how it works. I mean, I didn't notice it at first, but after the past couple of sessions, yeah, you could definitely tell when you go back to the stock footbed that there is more shock going into the rest of your leg. Unfortunately, it's just not as comfortable because they're harder. Um, now, I don't know how that's gonna stand up over time. Some people have mentioned that they will soften up or break in or feel better over time. I know that the Adapt Brutale footbed is extremely comfortable and has held up over the last several months that I've had them. I can't remember how the stock 909 footbed does after a few months. I've only been riding the stock footbed on the 909 for maybe a month now. As of right now, I could definitely say that the stock footbeds on both skates are more comfortable. However, the footprint insoles definitely absorb a lot of shock off of your legs. So what am I gonna go with? I don't know. <laughs> I think I just need to keep going back and forth, um, but these are at least my initial impressions. So the ones that I got were the three mil, five mil, king foam footprint footbed with no arch or anything like that. They're flat. Again, these are my opinions for my type of skating. You might be doing some serious drops and jumps and things where Comfort isn't as important as impact. <laughs> so you gotta base it off your style of skating. For me, I'm not doing huge drops or anything like that right now. Um, I suppose maybe if I got back into handrail some more, those drops would definitely be a lot heavier and I think I would most likely appreciate the footprint shock absorption. So in conclusion, there really is no conclusion. I am very unconclusionable, uncon not conclusive. Not a conducive conclusion. Inconclusive conclusion. Yeah. Rollerblading. Roll rollerblades.
that's it for today's video. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody.